What's up guys and welcome back to Stranded Deep. So we survived the first night and here we are on day two. It is nearly 1 p.m. and it's 115 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are gonna take a step back here into the shade provided by this lovely tree. And um, let's formulate a plan here. So obviously I just wanna hop in the raft and I wanna go explore. I wanna go check out that island over there. I wanna look at that island. I wanna look at that island. Like there are literally islands all around us. But I feel like we kind of need to take care of the home front first. So uh, if you guys take a look at our health, our meat and water are deteriorating a little bit. We need to, uh, to step things up there. I need to find something to eat. I'm so weak. Uh, we do have a little bit of water here, so we're going to take those. If you guys take a look, it looks like this, is this meat? Is that not smoking? I'm going to put it above the campfire. Obviously smoking would take longer. We do have the option if we wanted to, we could make... We could make a, um, a fire spit to be able to cook things more quickly because you can only put one piece of meat above the fire at a time. I was hoping the smoker would work well because the smoker makes smoked meat, which lasts way longer than, uh, than normal meat, but we, uh, we, we kind of needed to go a little bit quicker, I think. So I'm going to go out here. We're going to grab some more meat. Grab that, grab that. Okay. Any sardines or anything out here? I mean, the crabs are always welcome, but we need to find some sardines. We've got a stick out here. We also need to find some fibrous leaves to be able to, uh, to what's it called? To, uh, to, to keep making water. We're gonna run out of water here soon as well. So we need to be really careful with that. Ooh, clownfish. I don't wanna get too far out there because I don't know what's lurking. We got spiky purple starfish. I bet he's poisonous. Another crab over here. I'll grab him. The crab population is going to be going down with them when I'm done with them. But yeah, dude, I want to go explore. We've got all kinds of like little wrecks and stuff out here. There's like, you know, little coral tables with all kinds of, of new animals. Ooh, hello. Hello, I'll take this. What's up, yucca tree? This should give us those fibrous leaves that we need to be able to make water. So we should get five out of this. One, two, three, four, five. There it is right there. Okay, so we've got food on the Barbie. We've got some stuff to be able to make water. Now the little, there's another yucca tree there. I think this stuff is supposed to regen, especially like the little palm trees on the ground, but I'm not seeing any right now. They're supposed to come back every 24 hours or so. But anyway, let's come over here. We are gonna grab our yucca leaves. We're gonna add the fiber so it can start making water again. Um, cooked small meat, let's go ahead and grab that. Let's put that in our belly and then we're gonna Grab this, we're gonna drop the crab, we're gonna skin him up, grab the crab meat, and then throw that bad boy back on the Barbie. Oh, gross. Just like so. Is this, I don't, I don't know why my small meat's not cooking. Um, the problem is, is eventually, eventually that's gonna go bad if it doesn't cook. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna drop everything we have. Drop that there. Drop all three of those guys. When they're in that form, I don't think they're going to uh, to spoil. But that way, it's next to the fire. We can, you know, kind of skin them up, and um, we can skin them up and, and eat them whenever we need. Hold on a second. Should we try to hit a seagull? I was thinking about it. So you can actually you can craft bird snares and fish traps, which I feel like would be really useful. We just need lashings, which means we need those fibrous leaves which we need to uh, to regrow that I'm not really seeing. See, like these right here, these are supposed to regrow. So let's hope that as time goes on, we keep finding more of these things. But yeah, dude, I, just, I, I kind of feel like we need to take care of the home front. We need to get ourselves in solid working order. Look at this, we're already, we're thirsty again. This is, um, this is not gonna be, not gonna be easy. We could grab a coconut, but I, I think our water is gonna be ready here in a second. But we just we need to we need to make sure that we get things out of control before we think about going out and, and you know chasing any any new islands or anything. I'm just out here fishing away, man. Just trying to get as many sardines as we can. Got them. Looks good. I don't want to get too deep out in the water. That first episode, dude, when we first got here, we know the sharks like to get pretty close. Like I bet if we try to swim to that wreck right there, I bet there'd be a shark. So we got to be careful about that. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna fish while we have daylight. So it's a good thing that we, we caught a, a fair bit of extra fish because we literally, you cannot, you can't see in the water at all at night, dude. I mean, it's beautiful out here. 
I like the uh, I like the vibes. I kind of need a, a Mai Tai or something, but we definitely cannot see a dang thing, dude. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, um, 6 16 p.m. gets dark a little bit early. I'm just trying to see if we can find anything. I'm not really seeing anything. I don't know that there's much we're gonna be able to do. We need to just keep grabbing our meat off the fire. Pick up two of our meats there. All right, ooh, actually we, hold on a second. Can you put more than one meat on at a time? Looks like you can attach two at a time. That's good news. All right, so how are we looking? Food and water is starting to go up a little bit. We got a couple of drinks of water there. That's gonna help us out big time. Okay, so that was a productive day, but at least we're starting to, uh, to, to move in the right direction. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this last piece of meat and take these two off when they're done. Then we, we should be good. We'll take a little nap and wake up in the morning. Yo, I finally, dude, I figured out, oh my gosh. I figured out those noises at night, they're bats everywhere. Now bats are actually good. They eat like insects and stuff like that, but they could potentially be a good source of meat too. I would not be against taking our spear and uh, and just straight up rocking one of these guys when they decide to sleep on our tree. But um, here we go. We're looking good. Food and water's looking better. We definitely need we need these yucca plants, or we need something to grow back. We're gonna need more fibrous leaves. We could eventually start taking down the palm trees, and we can use those to get water. But obviously, that's not the most ideal thing. We honestly probably should right now, though. We should take down one of the small ones. It doesn't really offer much to us. Not that any tree's life is worth less than another's, but this guy's just gotta go, man. We've gotta get some water, because we want our water to be able to, to keep, you know, making overnight. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this. Let's drag it over towards our camp. So we've got a, a couple of trees down now. We're gonna be able to make a bunch of wood if we need it. Which could work because we could turn that into fish traps and stuff so that way we don't actually have to fish throughout the day. We can do other things, which would be good. So we've got some palm fronds here. We're going to pick these up. And then I believe we can use these to add in. Okay, looks good. We've got that. Cooked small meat. I'm not sure how long the cooked small meat lasts, so I'm just I'm going to go ahead and eat these for now. We look good. I'm going to drink. We're gonna add a palm fronds. Oh, we can't add it yet because it hasn't used one yet. All right, I think we're good. I think we're gonna call that a night. Let's go ahead and uh, we are gonna save. Shoot, I just realized we should extinguish our fire so as not to waste our wood or cause any forest fires. And then we are gonna go to sleep. So, uh, all right, things are starting to look a little bit better. We've still got our work cut out for us and making sure that we have a, a nice, you know, stable home, but um, things things are looking good. All right, um, I'm gonna say, let's grab this kindling. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start our fire back up. I'm not sure how long a fire actually lasts. It takes four pieces of wood, which is honestly a decent amount of wood. Um, I'm hoping they last quite a while, but we're gonna start this thing back up and then we're immediately gonna get it's only 7 a.m. Nice. We're immediately going to... Where are our sardines? They're right here. We're going to get a couple of sardines on the Barbie. Just so that later when we need them, we don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to grab two of these. Since when you actually grab the meat, that's when it starts to go bad. We're going to take this meat over here. We're going to attach it to the campfire. Looks good. Okay. So we've got that. And then now we're back after it. We can get back out, we can fish a little bit, we can work on our water and stuff. How are we looking? Water drained overnight. So we wanna we wanna drink. No, we don't have any water yet. We need more of those little little baby palms, dude. They're supposed to grow back, and I don't think they're growing back. I really don't know if my game is glitched, or maybe it's changed. I looked it up online and they're supposed to grow back, so I'm not sure. This is this is gonna be sketchy. Gotta love when you find a school, baby. Let's go. Got him. Couple more over here. Got him. Ah, we missed the last guy just by a little bit. Okay, that's five sardines right there. That's good news for us. I'm gonna keep looking. Just kinda try to... Try to grab what we can. I don't wanna get out too deep. I mean, we're still in the shallows, so I don't, I don't think any shark's gonna be able to come up here, but we just definitely wanna be careful. No room in the inventory. 
That's when you know you had a good day of fishing. Or really, I don't even know what you would call this. It's not really fishing. You actually can go fishing if you guys take a look at this. There's a, um, you can craft a fishing rod. You can craft a bobber. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, shoot. Our campfire went out and our meat is not done yet. Okay, so what we're going to have to do, our sardines are right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop all of them. Looks good. We are going to have to, we need to grab our axe. We're going to have to cut up this tree trunk. And then we're going to have to put some more wood on the fire. And then we're going to have to relight it again. Oh, yucca plant. Please give me what you produce. My goodness, man. This is not good. We may... We may be forced to travel out to find more fibrous leaves before we actually wanted to, man. I'm, I'm worried. In the meantime of figuring out if our, uh, if our palm trees are going to regrow, I think I'm going to try to make a little fishing trap. I'm not exactly sure how they work. I don't know if you have to bait them. I'm assuming you don't. I think you just put them in shallow water, the fish swim in, and then they can't get back out. But we'll see what happens. So we need some sticks to be able to do this. We already had this tree um, you know, knocked down from before. So we're gonna go in here. It's under our, our traps and stuff. So we need two lashings and six wooden sticks. So we currently have four. I guess we're gonna have to cut up the other piece of this tree. I just don't like cutting down the trees, dude. Like that's so permanent. I doubt they regrow back in the game and if they do, it'll take months and years. Okay, so we've got all that. We don't need the last two sticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop two of these in our little scrap pile. So we've got that. Now we're gonna need lashings, which I think to make the lashings, we need four of the, the fibrous leaves. AKA we need more yucca plants. So we aren't actually gonna be able to make that. Can we make the bird snare? We're gonna need, oh, we need even more lashings for that. Shoot, dude, this is, um, this is tough. This is really tough. All right, I'm gonna drop these for now then. At least we cut those up. We won't have to worry about it in the future. I know for a fact these things grow back. I just don't know how long it takes. It might be three days, two days. It's been it's been two days, so maybe it's three days. If they don't grow back in the third day, we are definitely going to have to figure something else out. In the meantime, I say we just get back to, to fishing with our spear. I'm trying to see if there's anything else we're going to be able to craft in the meantime, like anything we should be doing. There's a lot of cool stuff in here, dude. Like we can make a, a bow and arrows. We can make spear guns, spear gun arrows, bricks, planks, hoes. I, I know you can do some farming, so we could start growing fruit and stuff eventually. Right now, we're just kind of like in the early the early part, so we're kind of dependent on, on the normal ways of getting food and, and water. We do have the coconuts around us if we need water, but at the same time, those aren't really gonna regrow, or they're at least not gonna regrow quickly, so I, I don't wanna end up wasting those. What do we have for consumables? See, like, we're really gonna have to be careful when we go out to some of these islands, we're gonna have to get water bottles and stuff and take smoked meat with us, which our smoker's not even really working, I'm not sure why, because we're gonna need to, um, we're gonna need to, what's it called? We're gonna need to, to, uh, we're healthy right now, that's good. We're gonna need to, to be able to keep our food and water up while we're paddling. Obviously, that's that's gonna be a, a bit of a, a strenuous task. So, um, I don't know, dude. I'm kinda tempted to venture out in the water a little bit more. What is this here? A coconut. Well, that fell off the tree. I'm not gonna be sad about using that. All kinds of sardines and stuff out here still. Little clownfish. I'm a little bit worried out here. What's that? There's a ship right there, but I don't know that I trust it, dude. There's a big fish. Oh, that's a shark. Yep, that's a shark guarding the, the ship. Okay. Yeah, we aren't we aren't ready for this. We're gonna need like some harpoons and stuff before I'm ready to go out there. Or at least like a little bit more time just kind of figuring out what we're doing and how to protect ourselves. I know there was, if we go to consumables, there is a um, shark repellent. You get a lionfish, an antidote, and a coconut flask. So things like that we gotta figure out before we move too quickly. I, I don't wanna mess with the uh, the sharks, that's for sure. So I'm gonna come back here. 
Let's go ahead and grab our two cooked meats. Can probably extinguish the fire for now because we're looking we're looking pretty good overall. I mean, would it be would it be? Oh, oh, the yuca's back! How did I not see that? Let's go, baby. So it does respawn. I was wondering this entire time, thinking I was crazy. It does respawn. So we need to put some fiber back in here to be able to keep making water. Yes, sir, dude. So that means the hopefully the little ones start respawning too and we're gonna find those just kind of out and about. Dude, this is like the, the best news ever. Oh, we're in good shape now. And this means we have so much extra, I think we're gonna have more than enough to, to you know, be able to keep for our water but also use for the um, the fishing thing that we wanna make. So let's, let's do that. I'm gonna come in, we're gonna make, I think we need, oh, do we need two lashings? That's actually gonna use up quite a bit of what we just picked up. Yeah. <laughs> we don't even have enough for that yet. Shoot. So now I'm torn. I don't, I don't know what I wanna do. Like, I kinda wanna go out and go fishing more. You can never have enough, but I mean, we have so many sardines right there. We're kinda set on food for a while, but again, you can't have enough, so we could do that. It is hot outside with a very high UV, so maybe we should just kind of let the, the afternoon sun bleed off a little bit before we go out there so we don't end up getting sunstroke or anything because we're currently healthy. Um, our water is, is doing its thing. I want to make that fishing trap, but we're going to need three more fibrous leaves before we can do so. So we need a, a yucca tree to spawn which I think would be this one over here is the last one we did, but that was only a day ago. We need a yucca tree or we need the little guys to start popping up again. I'm just, uh, it's very high UV. I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna take a, a chill pill. I don't wanna take a nap because I don't wanna mess up our sleep schedule. Like he sleeps for like eight hours or whatever. So I don't wanna wake up at midnight and, and be like, okay, there's nothing to do. So I'm just, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna hang out for a minute. We should probably get the fire going back again here in a second just to make sure we have food. And we're gonna be okay. Update, it's um, 517 and uh, still very high UVs. So that plan didn't really work. I thought as the day went on, it would kind of chill out and we would be able to, um, to, to go out and about without risking our, our skin is, is, you know, badly, but that is not the case. So we are going to have to do a little bit of fishing here before the sun goes down. Got to watch out for all those poisonous starfish, dude. Can't really see much out here. Also, really, really don't want to become any shark food or anything. Uh, how are we looking for health? Meat and water are going down. Not seeing the respawn of those bushes. Shoot, dude. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drink that. I mean, I'm just, I'm, we need... We need to keep making water. I, I can't save these fibrous leaves if we aren't making water, so we're just we're gonna have to tough it out and, and start up a fire, eat a couple things, get ready to go to bed, and hopefully tomorrow's a new day. Hopefully we have some developments on the uh, the fibrous leaf front. Oh my goodness! Good morning, guys. How oh, wow, are we up early? What time is it? 4:52 a.m. I guess we just went to bed a little bit early last night, so we're waking up. In the nighttime, how are our effects looking? We're looking a little bit low on water, so let's go ahead and drink that. We've got bats flying around all over the place. Shoot, I really, I wanna, I wanna hit one of those guys. But every time I look at them, they fly away. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna say let's go ahead and get the, uh, let's get the, the fire lit for the day. Wanna make sure we're cooking some meat as we go on. And uh, I'm, I'm not even looking yet, but I'm really hoping that we have some, some plant growth happening. What day is this? Is this, let me see here. This is three days survived. So we should start to have some stuff coming back. So let's go ahead and grab our, uh, grab our little refined knife. This thing has been so handy, dude, and it's at 61% durability. So it's got, it's got some life left in it for sure. Let's get a couple of these. We can place each one of these on an empty spot on the fire. Boom, looks good. Those are cooking. And we've got to try to find some fibrous leaves. Grab our knife. Are you guys seeing anything? It's kind of dark out here. They grow and hard to see. Oh, oh, 
Oh! Where was it? Oh! There it is! No way, dude! Let's go! They do respawn! So it must just take three days. Oh, here's another one. Let's go! I know it's probably really hard to see this right now, and I put Oh, dude! Yep, they respawn. Okay. Well, that is some of the best news I have heard all day. Oh my goodness, dude. Listen to this music, too. It's like this grand revelation. We finally got it. Shoot, so we're gonna have to keep in mind every three days, we wanna make sure we pick these as soon as we possibly can. So the, is this, this is the morning of, of three days survives? The morning of six days survives. We wanna make sure that we go around and we pick up every single little thing we can. Because if we don't, we're only disservicing ourselves. Fibra sleeves. All right, I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna look for every leaf on this stupid island. And as soon as we're done, it's time to make some moves. I think I got them all. I don't know, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, we want to make sure if it takes three days for these things to regrow, we want to make sure, that was weird. Did you guys see that seagull? We want to make sure every three days we go and grab these things right away. That way we, we get the most possible. What is that in there? Do you guys see that? It's like some metal or something. But yeah, I think, um, oh, there's one over here. Hello. I saw you. I'm going to take you. So we've got some fibrous leaves to be able to make our fish trap as well as our water. So I'm going to come back over here. Currently did not have any water going. So every three days we get 13 fibrous leaves. That's good to know, I guess. How are we looking on everything? We could uh, could drink some water. I'm going to go ahead and pick up our meat. We could probably... Uh, let's skin two new pieces to be able to throw back on there in their place. Ugh. Then we're going to be able to eat our meat. We like to eat our meat, not beat our meat, you know what I mean? So we gotta eat the two cooked pieces first. I don't like how cooked and uncooked are in the same thing. I really don't like that at all. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't wanna extinguish it. Just wanna place it. Boom, there we go. So we've got that. Now we've got plenty of fibrous leaves. We are gonna make a second lashing. Looks good. And then we are gonna be able to make that fish trap. We need two stones and six, uh, what's it called? six logs. So I think if you look at it on the ground, if it's in your field of view, then you can make it. So we've got a fish trap. We're going to find a good spot to put this. Where's... There's a couple of spots where we've seen like five sardines, like a school of sardines all together. So we definitely want to put it in those areas. Looks like there's quite a few right here. Or do we have to... We have to make it. Hold E to set trap. I'm gonna move it out here. Boom. Okay. So we're we're gonna see what happens with that. Hopefully that thing works for us. Hopefully that thing stays good for a while. But man, oh man, does it feel good to have some fibrous leaves and things to be working in our favor. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. I think um I think we're looking pretty good. I think we're going to be just about ready to either start exploring some of those wrecks or honestly probably go to a different island. I don't really want to get down in the water yet. We have no way to protect ourselves, but we're going to go explore the nearest island and it should be a good time. So I'm going to see you guys there. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.